Mm -hmm. Thursday, the 19th of November. Mm -hmm. um, this procedural due process, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there's certain processes, right. Uh, what processes must be in place for a fair procedure? Yes. Now, as often as the court said, well, we served you after we issued the uh, fair procedure process. Right. Um, it says these processes must be in place for a fair procedure. Mm -hmm. I have never received a fair court hearing. Yes. In this county. Mm -mm. See, um, in 2011. Yes. I wasn't a resident. Mm-hmm. In 2012, you had me arrested. Yes. And you renewed the one-year protection order. Yep. Based upon the perjury that I had broke it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't appear in court. Mm -mm. You didn't give me five judicial days. Oh, you used a minute order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you modified it. Yes. The modification says that the process that must be in place for modifying a protection order. Yes. In a fair procedure. Yes. Is that I get notice of the court hearings. Yes. And then I have the right to appear in court. Mm -hmm. You don't just modify it and then serve me the modification. Oh, <laughs> And then the, the court rules, right, the state requirements, yes, say that there must be two attempts of personal service uh -huh, before it's mail or publication. <clears throat> it's not mail and publication. That's right. <laughs> and once you put it in publication, yes, the sheriff's department can't call me <clears throat> and make sure that I understand that you don't want me to appear in court. Oh, <laughs> And then you can't decide to not serve me a protection order that was issued for two years. Yes. Or you waited nine weeks mm -hmm. until I had left the county. Mm -hmm. See, all of this really looks like mm -hmm. it's been a deprivation of my right as a citizen of the United States. <laughs> this county uh -huh, has never, ever done what is fair in a procedure right now now there are certain lawsuits that are based upon yes not just the constitution no not state laws or federal laws no mm -mm. there are lawsuits that are based upon supreme court decisions of the last century that would make it a very heinous crime yes. <clears throat> To refuse to acknowledge the right of a respondent to get notice of court hearings oh. before you took the action of taking my sons from me. <laughs> now, get me the last century of Supreme Court decisions. It's going to be an expensive day. <laughs> I'm not even going to put a number on it because it could be a lot more expensive than $100 billion. <laughs> See, this idea that you gave custody of my sons to my wife. Yes without her ever having to prove mm -hmm. that she gave me notice of court hearings. Yes. The actual dissolution of marriage that was issued uh -huh, because it was an unfair procedure. Ooch. Ooch. And then the idea that you're just going to continue to enforce your fraud. Yes. Because your family's on the payroll and you've been bribing each other. Oh. There's that thought of the bribery of the police and sheriff's departments. Yes. The bribing of judges. Oh, that you thought everything was a show. Yes. And you were going to come the show so that you could come the money. Ouch. Now, when I think. Right now!